Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy. Did you just get a brand new phone and you're looking for some awesome apps to put on it? If so, you're in the right place. First up is the Android Device Manager and for good reason. You just got your new Android device and you should put at least something on it in case it gets stolen. Android Device Manager is developed and maintained by Google and it's very easy to use. It comes with the basic features like phone finding and wiping your device if it gets stolen. There are other apps out there with more features but this is the bare minimum that everyone should have in device recovery. Most Android devices come with a file manager but they pretty much all pale in comparison to ES File Explorer. This is a full featured file browser that lets you view your SD card, your downloads folder, and all of the other folders on your device. This is a great way to stay organized or to find stuff that you downloaded previously, and it's also totally free. Evernote is, feature for feature, the most powerful note-taking app on Android. The app is well designed and it also has cross-platform support so you can use it on your PC, Mac, or even an iOS device if you have, say, an iPad. The free version is very solid, but if you pick up the paid version, there are a lot more features that you can take advantage of. There are other, more simple options, but this is still great even for jotting down a quick note. Google Play Music has evolved quite a bit over the last year. You can use this to access music you keep on your device, or you can upload up to 20,000 songs to the cloud and stream them from there for free. If you fork out the $9.99 per month, you can also have access to various curated music stations, and you'll have access to pretty much every track on Google Play Music for free. With the upcoming YouTube Music Key integration that takes ads out of music videos on YouTube along with other features, this is the music app you should at least try out for Android. Google Hangouts has also undergone quite a few changes over the last year. With this application, you can message other Hangout users for free, enable text messaging so you can use this application as your texting app, and you can even do things like call other Hangouts users for free and video chat with up to 10 people, which is also free. Since you already have a Google account which is required to use the Google Play Store, there is no setup required. Just download it and go, but you may need to talk some of your relatives into using it as well. IFTTT stands for If This Then That, and it is a really unique and fun Android app. Using this, you can create connections between applications on your Android device. Some popular ideas include saving photos automatically when you view them on Instagram, or you can have it save the photo automatically to Google Drive. The possibilities are virtually limitless, and it'll save you a lot of time. It is inevitable that people will eventually start wondering if they can connect their phone to their computer in a way that'll let them check notifications and such on their PC. PushBullet allows you to do exactly that. You can check and even send text messages, see all of your notifications, send files to your phone from your computer and vice versa, and a ton of other stuff to make working between your devices easier. It's also free and that makes it a fantastic deal. SwiftKey underwent a lot of changes this last year and remains among the most popular and best keyboards of all time. Its predictive text is very good and it does great work autocorrecting once you teach it how you type. There are dozens of themes to choose from that you can purchase through in-app purchasing, including material design and some more colorful and festive themes. It's a great replacement keyboard with a lot of customization options and it is also free. Todoist is a to-do list app that helps you keep track of the things that you have to do. You can use it to remind yourself to do anything from grocery shopping to picking up the kids from soccer practice and even stuff like work-related activities. It works on a karma system where you earn points for doing tasks and you can do stuff like create repeating tasks and organize them into different categories. It's a powerful and simple application to help you stay on track. Last and certainly not least is Zedge. With this application, you can find a metric ton of ringtones, notification tones, alarm tones, and various wallpapers. The ones that came on your device are probably pretty good, but more is always better. You can find stuff from all kinds of sources like movie quotes, funny stuff, and various sound effects. The wallpapers are updated frequently and feature all sorts of stuff ranging from holiday and seasonal wallpapers to art, landscapes, and space. It's an application that everyone should check out. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. Why you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, don't forget to check out the written companion, which is in the video description below, as well as last year's list if you wanted to see those. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.